Hi guys, Jimmy here with a guest review for Geekinoids.co.uk and YouTube.com forward slash Geekinoids. Today I'll be taking a look at a project management application called iPrioritize for the iPod Touch and iPhone. Now, iPrioritize is great for anyone who's organizing an event or who is managing a project or even a school essay or something at work that requires multiple steps. Now, if I open the app up and we'll take a look at the icon first, if we unlock my iPod and we can see the icon is pretty self-explanatory you can see it's a traffic light uh, if the camera would like to focus now this obviously is representing urgent needs uh, you know attention and not important red amber and green so if we go ahead and open the app up and you can see we get this welcome screen I prioritize and then it jumps straight into the app itself now we can see the interface is very very minimal and that's always a good thing, especially if you're working with an app like this. If we take a look at the bottom bar below, we have two options really that are valid for anything that we're doing, goals and all steps. Then we've got the help button here where we can go to for some information on the application. If we go back to goals, we can see that I have created one Geekanoids guest review. Now, this is pretty much um, classifying this whole review as a project, which I guess you could say it is. It depends what uh, aspect you look at it as. If we tap onto it, you'll see I have three steps so far. Prepare video, record review, and edit review. Prepare video, well, I've already done this because I'm now recording, so you have to mark it as complete. And to do this, all you have to do is click onto the step, and then we'll go down to the status and hit on to complete. Once we've done that, you click onto the save button, and that will then go into the complete category instead of incomplete. And once you've complete that, um, you can go in, or once you know you've completed it, you mark it as complete, and it will go into this um, category instead of incomplete. All your incomplete items are here. Your steps that are incomplete will go here, and then obviously your completed ones will go here. Now, adding a step is very simple. Also, you just click on the plus button, and I'm going to add um, a step. Uh, send to Dave now because I've obviously to send this to Dave for him to upload it and if we hit done and you can also add details you know I could write um, via Dropbox you know if I wanted to add that additional information then I can hit done and save then it will give me this and this is where this app comes interesting because it will say can I afford to do this now well I can do I have the resources and skills? At the minute I actually don't because obviously I'm recording. At the time of recording I haven't got it edited and there so I can't really upload it or send it to him. Do I have the desire? Well, yes I do. Uh, does it need to happen today, tomorrow or this week? Yes. Is it important for my business's outcome? No. Is it aligned with your business's outcome? No. And then you'll see that it prioritises it via what you've given it, via the information that you've given it. So. It's saying, at the minute, it's more important for me to send it than to edit, which obviously isn't true, but this is because of my uh, entry. I've obviously changed it around slightly. And as you can see, the title is at the top here, and then the description becomes just below the title in that less bold text. Now, say, for example, I wanted to edit this step. I've maybe put a spell mistake in, or I want to add some more information. I can simply click on it, and I can, uh, you know, edit whatever I want or send to Dave to upload if I wanted to add and I could hit done and save yet again there we go it will change the information on the application itself and also if I want to delete a step I can simply go to say for example I added a step by accident and I you know I really didn't need that or it was um, something that was added by accident and you really can't add anything by accident on this because you have to fill out this whole form. But say for example you have something and you don't need it anymore. You can simply click on it and you can go down to the trash can down here. Click on it and we'll say permanently delete. If you've hit this by accident obviously hit cancel but I'm going to hit delete because I don't need this. And as you can see there are my three steps that are currently marked as incomplete. And again once you've completed it and I'll say that the recording is complete. You simply go to status, complete, and hit save. Now another interesting thing is you can reprioritize this. So send is obviously less important than editing. Uh, so I will click on to reprioritize. And it will give me a list of all the options which it previously gave me. Such as, can you afford to do this now? I uh, will click no. Do I have the resources? No. Do I have the desire? 
will say no so we will blow it. It doesn't need to happen tomorrow, today or this week. Yes, important for business like coming or aligned with business like come no. We'll hit done and save. And you can see they're now both in the green, which means they're not that important. And of course I could also reprioritize here by saying can I afford to do it now? Yes, do I have the resources? I could say no, desire, yes, and so on and so on. And basically the more yeses you select it will, you know, raise it higher in the grip, and if you've all of the yes selected, it will go straight into red, which means very urgent to do that now. So the conclusion of this application is basically that it's great for project management. As you can see, goals, which are basically separate projects, and I could add another one, such as, you know, um, website, maybe if you were starting a new website, website, uh, and I could save it and then I could add multiple steps that need to be you know, worked on on the website, homepage and whatnot. And obviously I can go on to all steps and I'll see all the steps through all of the goals. And I can go into incomplete and complete, all complete steps and all incomplete steps and so on and so on. So how much will this run you? Well, at the current time of recording, this application costs £1.79 in the App Store. Is it worth it? Well, it depends what you really want from this app. If you're looking for a good project management application then it is certainly worth it uh, no matter what because obviously it gives you those options is it important, can you justify to do it now or so on and so on which always seems to work well especially if you can't really balance all of your items out this does a good job of doing that. However, if you're looking for an application so to speak to manage what you have to do for a certain day I guess you could do that by making a goal a day, but that, that starts to get complicated and you're better just going with a separate to-do list app if that's what you're looking for. As I mentioned before, however, if you're looking for a project management or an event management or you know whatever, something along those lines, then iPrioritize is great for you. It will run you £1.79, as I said before, in the UK App Store at the time of recording. Prices may vary and, of course, depending on what country you're in. Overall, my conclusion, great for project management. However, not so good if you're wanting a to-do list app. If you have any questions about it, make sure to leave them in the comment of this video and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.